It's just a game on the lower chain. So. So my name is Ken Litchfield. I'm from the uh, Columbus, and uh, we're going to be holding. Well, we're hoping to have our annual Tootsie Roll Drive this weekend, with the city's permission. Uh, we'll be staying at the corner of Boardman and Main Street, uh, handing out Tootsie Rolls and collecting donations for people who are mentally impaired. Uh, all the money we collect, you know, goes to different organizations like. Woodlands over there in Marysville and Special Olympics of St. Clair County, um, organizations like that. What days are you going to hold it? Um, it would be Friday and Saturday. And what time? Uh, roughly like 8 till 6. There may not be somebody there all the time, just depending on how many guys we can get to help out. Just the 9th and 10th? Correct. Mr. Mayor, man. Yep. I'll make a motion to allow the Knights of Columbus to have their Tootsie Roll sale on the 9th and 10th of this month from 8 to 6. Support. Mazur? Yes. Brian? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I stay and watch some too? Sure. You got samples or you can sell them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you in the street. Uh, Keith? Uh, yes, uh, we have a little poll coming up on the November 3rd ballot, and just want to get it out there and we're looking for support. Uh, sent out mailers to every resident in the city, and hopefully everybody got them. They showed up and explained what we want to do. If you did not receive one or anybody didn't receive one, please. Uh, I'd stop by the police department at City Hall and grab one, or give me a call and, and we can talk about it, whatever, whatever you prefer. When were they sent out? Uh, two weeks ago, beginning of September. Oh, I didn't get one. Last year. They're pretty big. They're pretty big. It was very colorful. I see. Yeah, it looked like the size of an envelope, and it was like two sided. Yeah, and they were cheap, and uh, we we sent them to everybody. And I was I was afraid that was going to happen because they wouldn't make it to every mailbox. It shouldn't be an issue, but you know it's been two weeks now. But it hasn't shown up yet. It's so, on the website too. Yeah, it's on the it's website. We have copies of it at City Hall. We have copies of the police department. Please, if you didn't get one, call me or come and take a look at it. I want you to know what, what we're asking for and be informed. That's why we we put the effort and the money in to get this stuff out. So that's all I have. Yeah, thanks, Judy. Um, just Parks and Rec is doing their last walk tomorrow night for at 6 o'clock. And the last walk is going to be two miles. So we're going to walk from here up to the school, around the track, and back. So that's our last one for the year. Where are you starting out at? Uh, at this parking lot right here. Okay. 6 o'clock, you said? 6 o'clock. All right. Well, moving right along. Um, uh, the of the agenda. We have two things. Um, we're going to do delete uh, new business number one, which was a point of planning commission member, and actually switch that out with uh, the Little League um, gaming license. So no, new business number one will be Little League gaming license as opposed to a point of planning commission member. And I'll come up with that effect. Unless there's something else. Okay. Can you get support? Yeah, support. 
Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Salfa? Salfa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. All right, uh, approval of the minutes from September 1st, 2020. Has everybody had a chance to look at them? Is there any corrections or anything to add to the minutes? If not, a motion. I'll make a motion. That's on September 1st, 2020. Support. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Snoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Smarter? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Variety? Yes. All right, up next, uh, our September disbursements of $563,594.32 in electronic wire transfers of $8,789.12. Can I get a motion to pay the bills? I'll make a motion to approve the uh, disbursements in the amount of 563594.32 and the electric. Electronic order transfers at 8789. Support. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Communications I have none. Unfinished business. <coughs> Adoption of ordinance number. 209 in ordinance to establish a marijuana facility. Eric? Any questions? It's already been. Uh, it's already it's been introduced. 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 Uh, I just want to make one comment. Yes, sir. And uh, it won't uh, affect the outcome of the uh, adoption, but there was a, uh, uh, a petition that was. Uh, Put out and the lady handled it uh, had a difficult time getting uh, signatures because of the pandemic. But uh, I just wanted to acknowledge that there was a there was a uh, petition, and this this was against it. So I just just want uh, all the work she did. I just want to acknowledge that. I won't name the names except mine. I did sign so. I saw it. It was appreciated. Anybody else have anything you want to say? I'll make a motion to adopt ordinance number 209, an ordinance to establish a marijuana facility licensing. Support. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? No. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Can I have Stoops? Marner, Major Bradley, Schneider, Sofa, yes. Wilson, no. <coughs> Motion carried. Okay, moving along. Um, adopt ordinance number 210, an ordinance to amend title on adult businesses in the city of Memphis public ordinances. Larry? Uh, this ordinance also was introduced the uh, last <coughs> time, so if there's any comments on it, let's see. You want to just do a quick thumbnail sketch of what this is, Larry, in case everybody doesn't know? That oh, what, what, it, what it is is that the uh, tattoo were in, in the uh, classification of adult businesses, and uh, maybe years and years ago that might have been, said, uh, might have been uh, okay, but uh, it's kind of a normal business now, anyway, so we just changed it to where it's, where it's going to be. We basically changed the definition of the ordinance, right? Yes. We took that out of the definition. Yes, right. yes we did. So I make the motion to adopt. I'll second it. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes.
Is that what this is about? Yeah. I will just make a motion. Yeah. I'll make a motion to allow the, our event facility to um, get a license and hold a charitable gaming event for the purposes of funding their season. Support. Marker? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Bradley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Okay, up next, Halloween hours, October 31st, 2020, from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. From the whistle to the whistle. It has been for years. Can I get a motion? So moved. Support. Mazur? Yes. Variety? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Carter? Yes. That was all I had. Um, for me, um, looking forward to having kids out for Halloween. Be safe, be careful, cross the streets, social distancing, and all that goes along with that. Um, other than that, I don't really have any here. Can I make a comment on that? On um, um, the Halloween? Sure. Okay. Um, the Knights of Columbus, we're going to have a trunk or treat at Holy Family, either in the gym or in the parking lot. So that would be another option for kids. Okay. That's yes, all I got. Yes. Anybody who's interested in getting a marijuana facility license, the application should be available at the city office. Um, and I believe it says 30 days to turn them in. So when you come in to pick it up, Don will let you know when you have to have it back by. It. And it's a little long list of all the things that you need. Like this, um, how long is it going to be in the paper? Like 14 days. After right? Well, you can give out the applications, and then it, there is a time frame when they have to be back in by, and then it's, it's turned okay. out. Okay. We'll go over it. That's all I have. So, yeah, after a publication, mm -hmm. then there's a waiting period. Right. Yep. Well, it, yeah, there's. Not a waiting period, but there's just a certain amount of time to actually turn in everything that's necessary on the application, all your background stuff, and the money. Okay. It's a very okay. long laundry list. Larry? Uh, yes. Uh, Mark wanted to be here tonight, but he couldn't make it. He called me, but he got his new truck in, but he wants permission from Council to sell a 2011 uh, Ford F-250 uh, truck and uh, have the Proceeds from the sale go back into his equipment. So it would be a motion to uh, that. But I'll make that motion. Court? Briley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Selfa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Uh, and the second thing, I think you've got a memo from me and uh, the packet there in reference to the uh, at 51 money uh, that comes from the uh, sale of our, our gasoline and so on. And when we did the budget, um, we stated that the, we had to use the figures we had, but this might be adjusted because there's uh, nobody, we're not driving as much as we did. So, so uh, the, uh, it results in a reduction of uh, $24,697. Uh, which we will not have for the roads. Uh, however, our budget, and, and we'll, we had a surplus in both the uh, major and local streets. So uh, the current surplus uh, combined will be about uh, 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 just under 69,000. Yeah, unless something comes up, but, you know, we do the budgets. But that's a lot of money, and uh, I don't know if that will be the last or not, or whether we might have more, we don't know. And so uh, I'd just like to make a comment, too. You know, um, it's not up to us, of course. It's a federal issue or a state issue. But uh, electric cars uh, do not pay gas tax. And uh, as of 
currently uh, electric cars on the road is about 1.8 percent, and they're projecting by the end of the decade that be 21 percent. Now, so some time or some in the future, in the near future, I think both either the federal or state issue will have to address that issue because it certainly will affect the money we receive for, for roads. So, and uh, the uh, the other. We had a, um, uh, was it here? well, I had to figure anyway. There was a CARES grant that was given to the city automatically, and it was 5,109. Yeah. I think you got a, a memo on that someplace, and it's here it is. And uh, it's for certain things in reference to the pandemic that we can use it on, but uh, the information's at the city offices because it's kind of a little thick uh, packet. And uh, there's not too much I don't think that the city can use it for, but um, it could be for um, purchasing, you know, the town well, medical expenses, expenses public health expenses, yeah. payroll expenses, <coughs> any other COVID-19 related expenses. But it has to be, yeah, it has to be verified. It has to, so if we're going to use it, uh, make sure that they get it used because everything has to be justified. So that's the uh, that's that, and uh, just a brief thing on the budget. Um, we don't know where this, and we did the same thing uh, on the budget for revenue sharing as we did on the gas tax. So we don't know just where what's going to happen with that. Now they have the fiscal budget for the state for starting October first. They, they stated they're not reducing revenue share to the cities. Now, I don't know if that means uh, what we have figured we used it for budget, or that means maybe after the adjustments they might have to make, I'm not sure. Uh, but their budget is in, in place. But uh, we're, um, they're, I think their uh, 2020 budget is 60, about 63 billion. And, uh, and they're, uh, actually they, Budgeted 60 billion for this fiscal year, no, the last fiscal year, but it went up about 68 billion for the pandemic and so on. But I think they got a lot of that money reimbursed from the federal government. But um, actually, Larry, I spoke to uh, Representative Yar about that. Oh, you did. Okay. So this year, um, all the money was pretty much made up by the federal CARES Act money. Okay. But he said it. The effect will probably be next year. Next year. Next year. Yeah, because they. As far as revenue sharing. Yeah, because what they're what they're saying is that they, uh, the school aid fund balance was reduced from about eight hundred and seventy uh, million down to two hundred thousand dollars. That to balance the fiscal budget October first, and the general fund balance they had was one point six billion, and that was reduced down to forty five point five million. So they're not going to have the resources or the revenue for the next budget. And I think that's what Jeff probably had, uh, stated to you, okay? So, and, and I don't know, the federal government uh, is currently about, uh, I think, $27 trillion in debt right now. And uh, that increased from 2019 to 2020 by 29%. Mm -hmm. And they're not through spending money yet, it looks like. So someday we're going to be paying the piper. So I'm going to triple down. And that's all I have. Ken? No, nothing. Robbie? I'm good, thanks. Scott? Nothing. Mason? Nothing. Motion to adjourn.